Hey guys, welcome back to War Art. Um, I've actually got Madden 21 and I am actually been really enjoying it. I have actually want to do a face of the franchise with you guys. Um, the guy that I'm going to be playing with is basically Soren War Art. And we're going to see what happens. Um, I think I'm going to pick the Jersey 15 because one of my favorite f football players is actually Tim Tebow for quarterbacks. And I'm also a big, huge Broncos fan. So I am using PC, but I'm using controller. Um, I already made the guy I want him to look like. So we're just going to go ahead and get going on this and see what happens. So it looks like we're actually going to school. So I'm going to pick high school. I'm going to pick my name of my high school, which was actually Faith Baptist. But oops. But we're going to just do Faith High School. And I'm going to actually pick a different city so that way people don't know where I live. But it's in Colorado still. And the cool part is what I liked about this is they actually do have my mascot. Unfortunately, it's not my colors. My colors are more what the Rangers are. But we're gonna pick Pioneers. And it looks like we're going to actually meet Reggie for an interview. So this takes place in the future, but I get to share about my story of how I got to fame. If the music's a little loud, I, I adjusted the sound for it, but I'm not sure which one deals with the sound. I'm thinking it might actually be the dialogue sound. So we'll do our best. I already know which voice I'm going to pick as well. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> At least someone's here today. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my first assignment and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi, I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you don't mind, I am going to sit you down and uh, I'm going to mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're gonna throw you right here. And uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today, um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Cause Dax, what's up Dax? Dax and I are vegan and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna need an audio level from you. So uh, yeah, just, hmm? So I'm picking voice one because I actually Hello. like the best. Hello. Because I, if you can tell, I don't have an accent, so. <laughs> sounds good. And the other one okay. Sounds a little that's, too that's, high pitched. That's, everything looks good. Reggie, he's all yours. Hey. <laughs> oh man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically. Today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And, and don't worry, okay? I, uh, I got your, uh, your agent's threatening texts, and the kid glove stays on today. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. 
ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all-pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. It's my first day here as a transfer student. Football kind of just found me. Kind of have a feeling. I think I know how to what sound I need to lower. So if you guys don't mind, I may actually just do this real quick before we get started into the story. But I just want to let you guys know. You know, I've already gone through this a little bit, but I actually it's it's pretty decent. Um, I don't like how they do certain things, but. I wish they did a lot better job at it. But definitely sound has been kind of a weird setup issue. Let's see volume controls. I'm thinking it might be this I need to lower. As well as we're gonna lower that a bit so it's not super loud. And we're definitely gonna lower the field. Yeah, as you can see, I have the sound like a two, so, or I should say the music. But I'm not sure why everything is super loud. We'll lower this too. We're going to drop that to 60, crowd volume 50, stadium speakers 50. Maybe even lower this down a little bit. Put it at 90, nah, do 85. See how that sounds, because I, I I want you guys to be able to hear me talk, and I feel like it's super loud. So now we'll get back into it. So I'm about to meet my coach, which if you guys ever noticed about him, if you guys have been playing at all, he actually looks like the guy that's from The Walking Dead, and he's actually if he is the same guy, it's the same guy that I actually think is one of the coolest characters in Walking Dead, and I don't watch it all the time, but my wife does. And I always ask if he's dead or not. <laughs> there you oh, are. I'm gonna skip this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And think check check one two one two. There. I'm Hello. Going. Hello. Sorry about that. Didn't think it was gonna be <laughs> Sounds like good. That. Okay. Uh, 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 everything looks skip good. All this. And we're gonna go to coach. So yeah, so he, he's uh, one of my favorite characters in the beginning when, I, when he first shows up. He actually has a, like a two-handed axe and everything in there. So it was kind of cool to see him play the coach. I'm pretty sure it's him, though, because I recognize his voice. And the beard. Now for the Beast de Renaissance. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay, then. Let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. Haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, if you're as half as good as you are in hockey, we're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB, Coach. A darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, we still don't have any depth behind you. If we want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right, suit yourself. We got plenty of room on the bench anyways. So for me in real life, I, I did running back slash fullback and I did middle linebacker for eight man football here in Colorado, which is very common. Here we go, here we go. And so I never played quarterback. So this guy is definitely not me, but I am and I may choose to do running back when we get to that point, if you guys already know. But I will say that my team was really good when all the years I played. Um, I even had a really good year my senior year. I had 945 yards rushing and 24 rushing touchdowns and one catch for 46 yards for a touchdown. My best run was 64-yard rushing touchdown after being hit but not knocked down. Kept my balance. And I'm, I usually – I called myself kind of like – the the school bus or you know the bus like uh, um, what's his name from the Steelers Venice 
and uh, some people would call me the uh, the the D train, and uh, I would take people for rides and I run over people. But we're gonna try this out, see what it's like playing a quarterback. And it looks like Tommy does not like us, and we're gonna have to show him up. So they're gonna have me practice throwing. As a quarterback, you need to see all parts of the field. L, the LT to check out routes and personnel matchups, which is what I do a lot too. Yeah! yeah. Ready, ready? Well done. 60 bison! Oh, Press A to snap the ball, and they want you to lightly tap with B. Check out! Uh, here they will when you make a cut press and release the receiver icon okay ready, ready. Did I not do it right Shut up. Oh, Cardinal. Do cut Cardinal. Yet. Yes. Yeah. Cowboy, sometimes you just got to get the ball out fast in this situation you need to hold and make it fast so, we're going to see the route. This one I'm not used to using, so this was kind of cool to use it. the edges I definitely see some potential what do you say we smooth out those edges at practice sounds good coach also never yeah, played hockey before played baseball until I was like 10 13 years old and then I tried soccer one year Welcome to the but team. football has always been the game hey, I like thanks to play. man and I played basketball in high school a little bit too all right man listen I'm gonna be real with you this ain't gym class okay this is my team and as long as you understand that we'll be fine you got it? Find yourself a box to keep it clean. Seat's taken. Uh, apparently, everybody likes me because I'm the new guy, or slash, they don't want me taking over Tommy's job. Yo, get out of here, bro. Captain of the team in the corner away from everyone? Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I like to get my head clear before a game. But I can't really do that if. Guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just... This whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. NFL? It's, uh... 
bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL or bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great, and here he comes. What's up, Reggie? <laughs> Tommy Matthews, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. Okay. I got an exclusive. I have a feeling this guy's kind of you ready? a jerk. Okay, so uh, so get this. You're you you're, you're really gonna love this. Okay, so today I was in the cafeteria, and you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? right. Okay, so today, this is crazy. I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, well, Tommy, man, you got to give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? Okay, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns and leads his team to another victory. How about that? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, if you really want a quote, I can help you out. I tell you, I wasn't this Who good are you? at making exactly? quotes myself. Uh, I'm the new backup QB. Like uh, backup QB. Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. On second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? A lot of people yeah. pick Lamar Jackson Ask me anything. at this point around here. Okay. Uh, first question. Which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to Russell Wilson. I'm always going to look to use my arm first and foremost, but if the opportunity presents itself, I can pull it down and make teams pay. All right. All right. Solid answer. So, when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Definitely more of a team player than, like, a leader. Well, it doesn't matter if you're playing a game or working a job. It all starts at the top with strong leadership, so I like to inspire the people around me. Finally! That's something I can report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday yeah, my night. My coach taught us a lot right. about being leaders and taking leadership and being leader by example. So that's why I usually pick that type of mindset. Tommy, you all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have this bug that's going around. You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. Whoa. Whoa, hey, easy. Easy, man. I didn't mean to upset you. You're right. About what? About my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean, exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Tommy, I'm sorry. Oh, I had sucks. no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it. But my doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, that's the end of my football career. Do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these yeah, guys to help them win a state championship. Yeah, I try to convince them more than support them. You know, I'm You're not helping anyone out there tonight. Especially yourself. Plus, you're putting a huge risk with your health. Like that? No. You should sit this one out. Why didn't let you take over? 
So I could tell you this. I don't think so. Even if I were to take over for a bit, I'd give him back his job, no problem. All right, boys, bring it in. Not a word. I don't know if I would actually tell the coach straight up, but definitely would try to keep trying to get him to either go to a doctor now, deal with it, tell him to tell the coach, but I definitely would not tattle on him. Um, and I definitely would ask other people's advice of what to do in that situation. Fortunately, I, I know that what happens is pretty much it makes it makes it appear like I actually told him. Well, it's hard to celebrate homecoming when you're being shut out by your crosstown rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue our coverage. Tommy, hey coach, what's the plan? I'm gonna have to bench you for the rest of the half. Take off your helmet, have a seat. Wait, wh what? Wh wh what do you mean? You you pulling me from the game? Coach, I, I, I've given everything to this team. I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, sit down. Also, one thing they did not do is allow it to be... Coach, I don't know what he said, but I, I'm fine to play. Look, I've got scouts here watching me tonight. We'll, we'll you can't bench me. Again. You know you can't play. For me, please, sit down. Okay, we'll talk about this later. I promise. What'd you say, man? I had to. Okay, I know you're worried. All right, but I need you to focus. You got 52 other guys out there counting on you now. Wow. I mean... 52 guys? No sweat, coach. Do it. Good. Because we're going to need you to ball out. If that's not asking too much, of course. Well, no, I got this. Yeah, I wouldn't hesitate. Was it the play calling? Uh, I've had two whole weeks to digest everything. <laughs> I'll be fine. What can go wrong? Great. Well, with your raw athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. Whoa, whoa, you forgetting something? Your helmet. The piece to Renaissance, the most important part. Come on, you got this. Oh, the glares. Yeah, you're right, Coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. He so doesn't got this. And welcome back. Kevin Connors with you on one of the most special games on the schedule each season. Homecoming weekend. This live stream is brought to you by EA Sports. Oh my goodness, can't believe that, that just happened. Yep. Nope, we're not gonna He's out in front. If you and, me. and he'll finish it off. Touchdown! That's right. Ryan Washington. A stunning sequence on the return. So I'm not now, sure what part? to make of this, uh, but really Tommy like, Matthews was just awkward. benched for a backup who joined the team only a couple of weeks ago. And get this, his teammates nicknamed him QB2 because they thought he'd never see the field, but here he is. So an unexpected drive so by an unknown starts. backup we call QB2 leads the way to this kick. Caught in the end zone, and this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. So the Bearcats are lined up now. And there's Carpenter making some final preparations as we await the snap. He's back to pass. And there's a strike to his tight end over the middle. And he picks up a big chunk of yards to take them into enemy territory. Operating now on the opposite side of the field. It's first down. A hold zone here this time. Working from the gun, here's Carpenter. He finds his oh, tight what? end, and yeah, he's brought yeah, down at the 43. A gain of four on the play, and yeah, now yeah, it's second and six. Carpenter settles into the shotgun look. On second down, he'll drop back. 
And he can't make the connection. It's incomplete. Think about this team, and I remember thinking this back in the season opener. They, they just don't panic on third down. And that's been the case again here today. Oh, he That'll be that's incomplete. Awesome. That's Hit awesome. as he threw it, and now it's fourth down. Okay. The Bearcats lined up, Let ready to punt it I away. And he gives it the boot. Oh. Oh. So no return go. here, as it'll be a touchback. Okay, guys, let's see what happens. It's my first time. No one's seen me so far. And I think we're going to start out with a run. Because the Pioneers you know, the send out their offense. First, so and there's Coach like Fetu calling out some instructions for QB2 from the sideline. Oh, they give on, it to Hawk. On. And they'll take him down after a nice pickup. So Coach Fetu feeling blessed to have a running back like Sammy Hawk that can shotgun. take the pressure off QB2. So after a solid pickup on that previous play, here's second down. I'm do that. Switch this up Switch straight up. Fakes the handoff. Play action. Come on, big boy. There you go. A catch. leaping catch that looked out of reach, but he's got it. So QB2 going to a familiar face there and Davion Patton. It was Davion who caught for QB2 during the tryout for Coach Fetu that earned him a spot on the team. And he doesn't waste any time picking up the first. He opens that series with an excellent run. Well, I've got a moment. i got to give a quick shout out to my man Reggie Brown with the school newspaper here. He took the time to show me around campus earlier lost. today. This kid's got a yeah, real gone. future as a reporter. I'm telling you, he did a good. That's One caught deep in wow. Bearcat territory. A big time play that gets a roar from this crowd. Now another first and 10 and even more of a threat to score now. In the red zone, looking to throw. They set up the screen, and that's complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Pioneers. And this game is tied at 13. Can you believe it? And they'll take a narrow lead, just one point between the teams. So the scoreboard reads 14 to 13. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And he's not able to do much with it, just a decent return. Okay, back to the 3-4, which I love 3-4. Broncos defense on too that well. Bearcat sideline head coach Raymond Summers doing his best to keep his kids motivated I mean they've watched a 13 nothing lead disintegrate with a snap and he won't get much on first down Davin Collins on the stop as a quick side note what an honor it's been to team up with EA Sports to bring you some of the best high school football action in America the players will be competing for Heisman trophies national championships and even Super Bowl titles in the years to come some of them are on this field today getting ready for the shotgun snap here's Carpenter Let's see what they do they may run it Going with the run on third oh, and short. You, you see that? And he'll oh push his hit. way through the line. A Should've strong run to earn the first. Well, what a scene here today. And I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that our next live stream will be from the state championship game later this season. Most believe the Brush Hogs are the team best positioned to raise that, that trophy. My opinion, pigs will fly before the Brush Hogs win it all. But what do I know? Needing to make up some ground. It's, zone, it's like second and long. Out. I'm going to come back to you. out of the gun, they'll throw. And coming out of the backfield, that's complete to his running back. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Third and short, but the defense is thinking pass. Out of the gun, it's Carpenter. 
Nice. And that'll be incomplete after a timely play to force a fourth down. And the kick is away. Washington fields it. And this will be spotted at the 44-yard line. He's going to run just to get the quarter over. Don't want to get anybody hurt. They start the drive with Hawk. And he's across nice midfield into enemy territory. Whistle blows to signal the end of the third quarter. Kevin Connors and EA Sports back in a moment. We return to a tightly contested matchup as we begin the fourth quarter. on this at all. Who's open. Finds his man on the crossing oh. route. And he's down Second at the eight. A thrilling play that gets the fans on their feet. Still worked very well. Back to the strap pistol out. Let's see what can we use. I'll use this. So it's the defense in the spotlight now on this first and goal. Out of the gun, it's QB2. That's him. Oh, and they it. can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. From the eight yard line, now it's second and goal. From the gun, here's QB2. There it is. He's got it! Touchdown, Pioneers! Myers now to add the extra point. It's up and it's good. The lead now, 21 to 13. Now we just got to hold him up. Following the touchdown, the Pioneers are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. Jeez, nice. all that effort and not much to show for it. They'll start this drive just beyond the 20. Actually, they have decent blocks, just he's not very quick. Okay, let's go for this. Well, I gotta so say, flex. all the Bearcats fans that showed up for this game, yeah, they're not nearly as loud now as they were earlier when they were enjoying a shot. The ball comes out. Scooped up by the D. Oh, now nice. he's out of bounds. Yeah, this is formation. Gonna go for a run to give Hawk an opportunity to show his dance moves. The Pioneers take over on offense. Let's see what the future holds on first and ten. Going with the counter on first down. And he's just outside the 10 yard line. A pickup of four on the play. And now it's second and six. Working out of the pistol. On second down, back to pass. There it is. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Pioneers. Just two plays needed to find the end zone. And now it's time for the extra point. And the point after attempt is good. The advantage now, 28 to, to 13. Move on to the next game. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. He fields it at the two. And he's taken down after crossing the 20 yard line. Needing this drive to finish in the end zone. It's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. Into the flat, it's complete. 
Now he's taken down. A solid gain of six there on first down. Carpenter settles into the shotgun look. Back to pass on second down. And coming out of the backfield, that's complete to his running back. And that'll be a couple of yards on second down. Michael Washington with the tackle. All right, so following the short gain, here's third and three. Shotgun snap, here's Carpenter. Under pressure and sacked. Oh, of course. You don't have to be Lombardi to make this call. Fourth down at this point. Gotta go for it. From the gun, it's Carpenter. And no, the gamble doesn't pay off. It's a turnover on downs. So the Pioneers will take over with great field positions. They go play action. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Not sure what happened there. Go for a run. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. From the gun, inside handoff. Mm, and they give up yards as he's tackled for a loss. Halfway through the fourth quarter. Here's third and long. What we got? Gets full of Off play action. And there he is. Throws left, it's complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Pioneers. Oh, they are uh, running good, up the right score. Now they're lined up for the extra point. And they add yet another point, one of many in this matchup. They're a big right now. So the scoreboard reads 35 to 13. Needing a score on this drive, here comes the kick. Taken at the four. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. Opening like play of this drive for the Bearcats. And they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Scans the field. Oh, and they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Okay. Following that incompletion, here's second and ten. Off the play fake. Press the wrong button. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. A 28-yard gain and a first down and much, much more. Operating now on the opposite side of the field, it's first down. Now they'll throw from the gun. It's complete to Justice. And he picks up the first down. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Carpenter. Drops back again. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Still looking to throw. It's Carpenter. Able to connect this time, it's complete. And he'll move his oh, way forward to the 32. Looking to throw, oh, here's what? Carpenter. How did I not he stop? makes the delivery. He and he stopped at the 17 yard line. 15 yards on the play. Good for another first down. As we approach the final minute, it's first down. Surveys the field. And interception. Carpenter and is picked off. Intercepted by Douglas. The 40, the 30, 20, oh, bring it, 10, bring it. 
And it's a pick six touchdown. And that should seal the deal. Now to dot the I and cross the T. And he gets it to go. The score now, 42 to 13. See what happens. Following that pick six touchdown, the Pioneers are ready to kick it away. I knew it was either going to be a linebacker or it was going to be Fielded at the three. Because that guy and he's brought down hard. at the 24 yard line. And maybe in his face, too, man. So it made that happen. Lined up in the shotgun. Throwing after the interception. Here's Carpenter. He uh, finds his running down. back for the completion. That's right, that's right, and right, right. he'll work his way forward to the 29. A pickup of five on the play. And that makes it second and five. Looks to throw out of the shotgun. Caught by Stocker. Now he's brought down. That throw good for only a couple as it'll be third down. Okay, we have to go going. Here we go, Shaq! Statistic. I got you. I got you. Go! From the gun, looking to throw. Okay, and they're unable to make the no, connection, so here comes split. fourth down. That guy's gonna get an easy pass. The guy that was defending him was across the map. Looking to roll the dice. Here's fourth and four. Out of the gun, looking to fire. Throws into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ellington. And that play will seal the deal. Here come the Pioneers to start the drive. And they are very much in control of this game. Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. There it is. Oh, and he right makes the grab. Touchdown. Oh, no, wait, wait, no. No, they're calling it out of bounds. Just outside the chalk. Lucky. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Again, he drops back. And a great catch there as he's able to keep a foot in bounds. Timeout called by percent. Coach Fetu. They've got two remaining. Back in a moment. They come out five wide, three to the right. Now from the red zone, it's QB2. And that's almost a touchdown. Stopped at the last second by some great timing on D. QB2 settles into this shotgun look. Again, they'll pass it. This will be caught at the there eight. Is, and he takes it into the Got end zone. Touchdown. touchdown, Pioneers. They just continue to light up the scoreboard. Gotta make a statement today. And that should do it. The coaches are struggling to keep their players from running onto the field, but even they're having a tough time containing their excitement. Short kick. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. Taken at the 10. Man, heavy contact on that punishing takedown. And that will do it! A comeback to remember. So Let's as our EA this. Sports live Seems stream like comes to an end, bit. I'm Kevin Connors signing off. I'm going to be watching you. Not with just with one eye, with both of my eyes. <laughs> All right? Keep doing good work, and I'll be in... Hey, uh... Grant Simmons. Recruiting analyst over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game at that a nice son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, give me a call, all right?
would love to add you to our site. My man. And the dirty look. The man of the hour. But you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot to prep for the playoffs. <sighs> I'll tell you what. If you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Why, you really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. So, I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right, let's get started. Wow, great, okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh, just think of one of them, anything. Sounds like pressure. I felt like I was able to sense the pressure and then get out of the pocket and get it to our backs before the pocket collapsed. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Oh. Well, it's like, well, bro, Reg, I guess there's your exclusive. Yeah, your health is a problem, man. <laughs> Need a word from my office. I think we're going to stop it there. So we're going to go to the next thing. But yeah, so far this would be episode one. And it looks like we've made our statement. People know who we are. People in school are talking about us. And I guess we'll see and find out what happens in the next episode. Because I'm sure, you know, I'm going to get my opportunity to shine. People are going to recognize me and I'm going to get noticed by recruiters. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys truly enjoy this. Um, I've been liking it. Uh, like I said, I, I will say this, the story, I kind of like it, but I don't I think there's some things in there. I'm like, yeah, you know, I would have done it a little bit better. But otherwise, the gameplay is pretty cool. I like the concept behind this. And I will have to make a decision later on that. I can either choose continue, which I, I may, um, and then what I'm planning on doing, because they only have two options where you allow fate to do it for you, but it seems like it always sends you to the bears, and I'm not that much of a fan of the bears, other than Kill Heal Mac, which I do enjoy watching him play. Um, but I will say that what I can do is I will do a roll on like in digital role out of 32 and see what number we pick. And then from there we can figure out what team we could be a part of because the other option you get to choose. Now my instincts are going to the Broncos because I do know they need help with quarterback and two, it's also my favorite team. But for you guys, I want to pick a team basically like if it was a real draft pick. So but that's only if, well, actually no, not even if it'd be either way, I believe. So I may continue being quarterback and maybe start another one for you guys with a different perspective, but I will start it at that point. So it'd probably be the same name, but if I choose to not go into the draft as a quarterback and we'll see what happens. I hope you guys have a great day, great night, whatever, wherever it may be that you're watching this. See you around.